See, this is the behind the scenes stuff you Look. don't see. Look how red they are. That is. Well, at least you still got blood supply. That it's is. when they turn blue, that's when you got to worry. Is that when we worry? Right, okay. That is mega. Get in. I can't feel anything. I can't see anything. Challenging times out here on the links. <laughs> This is actually summertime for all our US followers. This is exactly <laughs> what it's like. <laughs> That's on the next tee, isn't it? That? Yeah. Bob! Who's, who's out here? My dad's in front. Who you? Oh, that's true. <laughs> the challenge is simple. You get 30 shots to get round nine holes of a golf course. And today we've come to a snowy West Lanks and we have Mr. Peter Finch with us. Thanks, All right. thanks for coming. <laughs> thanks for having me. Yeah, great day for it. Yeah, I loved it. You'll know this place well. It hosts final stage of open qualifying um, for the last few years, yep. which Pete's played in a few times. And today we're going to be playing the back nine. The premise is you get 30 shots. How far do you think you're going to get round these nine holes? 11. <laughs> 11. So you're going to, to the 11. To, to 10 yeah. and 11. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there, I think. The best so far, Marco Penge pitched in to the 18th green at Formby Ladies. So he played nine, well, right, eight okay. and a half holes. And he's a decent player, actually. He can play golf, yeah, yes. He's actually good. Yeah. Right. This is, this is, this is a disaster. I think you're going to enjoy this video. Yeah. In like a masochistic Sadistic kind of way. way. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying if you finish the 16th hole today, you've had a blinder because this golf course is hard, even though it's winter obviously with the snow the rough's still horrible this, are, is, this is literally the hardest course in lancashire yeah in the nice weather yeah so we God thought we'd make it easy that. for ourselves right you Pete, lost your honor 10th it. hole it's a par four it's 336 yards i think all out attack mode is the uh, the flavor of play for this challenge more right it's like she's actually in a field in the middle of the highlands she's at home oh. now she knows what she's doing right driver let's go the uh, snow is going to slow the ball down, I think. This is possibly the hardest conditions we've ever filmed in. <laughs> I would have concur with that, I think. That's a nice drive. It's just going to miss the green left. Yeah, I hope that it misses those bunkers. Yeah, so, oh, oh, it pitched in the trap and it's come bouncing out. Well, when you've got as much control over the ball as I have, Matt, you can do that. Go on then, Matthew. Right. Go on, Matthew. You're the man. If you can do it, no one can. My best is there getting to the eighth hole, I've finished eight holes. I did it at La Cala. La Cala? Yeah. Nice. La Cala. Yeah. Similar conditions, obviously. Oh, it was, yeah. I was in my shorts then yeah. as well. Stay up. Missed that green. Mm, it's drifting with me. Pretty straight Wait. bounce. Oh, missed the trap. Oh, is that on? That could be on the green. Wow, what a bounce that was. That was mental. I'm just a baller when it comes to the 30 shot challenge, yo. Quick run, me, get the sled dogs. Me and Fry have already filmed a video on my channel and if you think that's a lucky bounce, he has been kissed by the gods today. You just can't accept good golf, that's the issue. That's a good looking shot. Softly, softly. Ooh, just snuck off the little hill. Yeah, it's all right. It's puttable. 56er. Pitch it up onto the front and let it just run out. Oh, landed that about 10 feet short of where I wanted to. This is serious commitment to getting videos out, everyone, because I would like nothing more now to be sat at home with a biscuit and a cup of tea where I could probably feel my fingers and toes. But nevertheless, let's make birdie. Oh, <laughs> the foot. Four shots gone. I really thought that was going to be a, a simple three for me. You've definitely been touched by the putting gods today. They always touch me. <sighs> this is a. Uh... Oh my god, Pete's just hold it. Pete has just hold it. This is unreal. I like it out here. It's nice. I don't know what the problem is. The 11th hole is a par five that's 520 yards. You know what's quite worrying? Uh, we're out here doing this because we like making videos. My dad's up there. He's actually playing golf for fun in this weather. I just realized as well, Kieran's got the drone up in this. Kieran hasn't got the drone no. up. <laughs> he did have. Sorry to anyone who's got a drone mounted in their car <laughs> bonnet. <laughs> it was Kieran. Par five, 
You've got off to a flyer there. Oh, uh, mate, I told you, I, I love these conditions. <sighs> that is mega. Just over the left traps, coming down. <sighs> That's nice, good shot. <laughs> can't feel anything, I can't see anything. Yeah, are your fingers meant to hurt this much? Yeah. That's the sociable. Yeah, just, over those just right in the traps. I'll take that. Yeah. This is the first vlog you've probably seen played in snow. It's also the first vlog where two British golf YouTubers die of hypothermia. <laughs> There's that. Yeah, challenging times out here on the links. <laughs> This is actually summertime for all our US followers. This is exactly <laughs> what it's like. <laughs> right, we've got uh, 276 yards. Miraculously, the snow sort of stopped. Sort of. But what you got? 276. At least we can see the uh We can see the, see the green I can actually see stuff. the flag up in the distance. I couldn't see you a minute ago. It's actually quite pleasant now. <laughs> <laughs> Some would say tropical. <laughs> oh no. It's okay, the, okay, the splodge yeah. of snow in between impact. It was quite a low spin in that, wasn't yeah, it? Actually? It uh, stopped it from going as far as I wished into the trouble. Turn over. Just up the right, just right of that trap in the distance. Yeah, it's okay. It's alright, that's how you yeah. see it. It's like in the sort of fringe slash little bit of rough. Oh, okay. First cut. He'll be that's, okay. That's, that's all right. Be okay. That's Easy right. birdie. That shot in these conditions, I'm surprised if we get a raging round of applause if I'm being honest with you. But Right, I've got 72 yards. I'm just going to pitch my 56 just shy of the green and let it just hop and a skip up there. Go. 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 Ah, oh. oh, I just died on the snow. <laughs> if it had been a bit cold, it would have been ice and it would have kicked just off. just came out a little bit higher than I thought that. I was thinking it was going to come out a bit flat with no spin because of all the snow and water from the ball and sort of just limp on up, but actually came out pretty well. Is this full flop? You are? Full flop? Uh, I don't think it needs to be a full one because it's kind of far enough that it's a kind of fully swing, which opened up that face. Let it slide under. Oh, that's played well. That's played very well. Good shot. Thank you. Turn in. Sit. Turn. Ah. Oh, Matthew. Got, got a bit excited there. He did. Got a little bit excited. Oh, I've pulled it. It kind of went a bit left on you as well. Yeah, that's a disappointing six. Very disappointing, not what we need. 10 shots gone for me. Travel, travel, travel. As if you're leaving that put short. Yeah. What a plonker. That's a five. Oh yeah, we don't need those though, do we? Pete's, uh, Pete's doing all right there. He's got eight shots taken. I've had 10. So 20 left and 22 left. We move into the, uh, the trickier part of the golf course now. 12th hole here, it's a par three, gorgeous one. Little upslope to the green, um, 150 to the middle, which is about where the tier is. So you've just got to get it over that today. Yeah. Nine iron, Pete? I think so, nine iron, just over that front bunker. I think if you make par here, you're in for a good shout of getting like past 16. Past the 12. Turn in, turn in, zoom in on the flag. Or somewhere near it, about 30 feet right of it. Yeah, it's a bit toey that. They did well to get that far, I think. I'm going to hit a little three quarter eight. I think that's probably the good controllable option. Yeah, just a chippy number, as some would call it. <laughs> As I went to swing, a herd of snot came out of <laughs> and like totally threw me off. Oh, the joys of winter golf. <laughs> oh, mate, that's actually done remarkably well. Oh, that was horrible. Wow. That was so cold and disgusting. That was... Uh... Sorry for anyone with a light stomach. Oh, different. I, I think it was a good layout. Leave yourself a good club in. Yeah, we've got 50 yards to the middle. <laughs> we've actually got 63. Have you? There's par threes that are nearly that length. 56 degree. I need to get this up and down really for any sort of show. Oh, thinned it. I think it might be a pin to win though. Oh yeah, it's about three feet. 
yeah, perfect that. Just nippy, it wasn't thin, it was nippy. I, uh, I, mispronoun I mispronunciated nippy then. Said thin for some reason, very strange. I, I don't think I've ever seen a round like it today from you. <laughs> literally straight through the ice. Oh. <laughs> You're laughing as I'm hitting it. All right, it's a three there, it's all right. Three, five, three. And that also was a three. All right, so you've had 11 shots, I've had 13 shots. 19 to go, 17 to go. I'm actually surprised at how well we're doing, considering about two holes ago down the par five, we had a chat whether we would actually have to go in because it yeah, was getting Yeah, you were talking about snowy. going in. It was Pete mainly. Disgrace. You should be ashamed of your lack of faith in, <laughs> in the, the West British Lancashire weather. weather. <laughs> Downwind, downhill, 350. Conditions, perilous. That is the 13th hole, folks. <laughs> it's a dog leg right to left. Normally the play is like you hit rescue or iron down and wedge on. Today, obviously, it's go time because it's... It's always dry, really. It's like. warm and... <laughs> just got to smack it, mate. You've got to go for it. Let's see it. I can draw it now, mate. Do you know that? Yes, I've witnessed two of them yeah. on the last two holes. Just making sure you know. <laughs> I thought they were toe hooks, to be honest. <laughs> well, they were a bit, yeah. <laughs> that's straight over the traps. That'll be all right, that. Yeah, that's just straight over them. It's in that sort of light patch of grass directly over the bunkers. Oh, yeah. Can you turn? I'm not going to lie, I'm losing it halfway through its flight, but it looked good. Yeah, it was. it's just left of yours. Oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah nice shot. Fair way. Oh, well done, T. I need to pitch in so then I can keep up with you. So we're three and a half holes in now. How do you think you're going to do, judged on your aspirations on the first hole? Um, I'm just happy we're still here. Yeah. In a golfing sense, but also a life sense. Because <laughs> uh, it was looking pretty <laughs> sketchy for a moment there. So yeah. I'm on 11, it's not 34. To be honest, it's the next hole that I'm most bothered about. Yeah. Because it is literally, I, I just, any time I step on that tee, I just hate it. Not in like it's a bad hole, just it's one of my bad holes. Yeah. If we get past that, I'm relatively confident. I reckon I could birdie in. Nice. That is optimism for mm. you. That is optimism. So I think that I needed to birdie the 10th and I needed to birdie the 11th. I would have said they were gift holes. Obviously the conditions change that, but from where I were with my drives, 16th I still think is a good aim. I think if I get one or two birdies, then I can finish the 16th comfortably. But uh, it seems to have stopped snowing a little bit now, so we might have a better chance at it for, for those holes, but we'll catch up in about two holes and see how that's looking. This is probably, I think, the sneakiest green uh, that there is at West Lancashire. You think, oh, I've got a, an easy pitch here, and it's the size of a two pence piece. Yeah, we could have actually done with being about 50 yards further yeah. back here. You need a full wedge into this if you're ever playing this hole. Wow, that's a pull <laughs> language. That's it. That was like a duck hook with a lob wedge. Interesting. Sorry, Jack, you might have to beep that out. <laughs> At least you had to... <laughs> that just popped out of me. That was, uh, I was a bit disappointed with that. <laughs> right, I'm going to try and uh, hit the same shot as yours, but better. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I think the play actually is landing it short and letting it skip up that bank. I don't know if you can do that though, and it'd be as predictable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... If you've got a good lie, you'd be able to slide under. Man, yeah, you're, man, yeah, you're lie, but... Nice lie. I'm awful with my wedge. Like, you're an actual good wedge player. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Use that bounce. Get in. Oh, he's turned after the hole. Great I'd, shot. I'd read the green so well as well. I thought that it was, was right to left. That was very good. Right, we've got a kick in, folks. We're coming, we're coming. We're getting back on it. Very we're getting back good. on it. I love the snow. Let's see how close this thing is. I've had six foot, three foot. It's a size 11 if you wear Clarks. Oh, it's, I reckon that's a 14 in foot joys. Clarks. Yeah, that. Do you know they have Clarks abroad? I did a shopping app, so I didn't realise it was a beyond the UK Oh, Clarks thing. is big. Yeah. You want your school hoppers, you get to Clarks. Anyway, back to the 30 shot. Uh, I've overread everything, so I'm going to hit this pretty straight. Great tactic. Hope it goes in. <laughs> it's worked. Oh, it's oh. literally got... I've had so many of them today. Early call, Frederick would kill me for that. You know what, he's still, Gosh, ta man. He was still talking about it. Gosh! 
because I did it. I did it as well in our match, and he's like, "Is this a British thing?" <laughs> you, you, you okay, man? <laughs> That's not <laughs> Frederick, but who was that? Trying to be. I think the the snow brought it out of me. <laughs> that sounded like Frederick like falling down an elevator. Shaft, <laughs> yeah. I think. Well done, mate. Right, good three. Well done. I'm one behind you now. So I've had sixteen. Pete's now had fifteen. The game's afoot here, folks. The game is afoot. Could have done with a bird. We need on. we need two birdies down these but i would say bogey is more likely because these are absolute monster holes into the wind as well oh into the wind perfect yeah just what we need guys if you're enjoying this video as well remember hit that subscribe button down below comment as well who you want to see next on the 30 shot challenge down there below hit them let's get back to it considering how bad the uh, the weather was on hole 11 i'm surprised we're stood here with no snow now normally this is like literally an iron or a like fairway wood just to write that marker but we yeah. got attacked so is it the steeple in the distance little cut find the fairway here and you've done very well that's a good shot that is a very good shot i think i'm going to need the wind to hold that up a touch i think really yeah i hit that really well what, it, two left yeah i needed more cut i think i might be wrong but i think that's in the semi and there is a ditch there as well. Okay. Just just to make this hole, you know, a little bit harder. Yeah. Let's stick a ditch in there. See that that is bad enough to be good. My strike mark is nearly not on the driver. Yeah, it's yeah. that thin. You controlled that flight exceptionally well. I'm glad that wasn't an iron because I would have actually NR'd from the challenge. <laughs> I think you might not have had a you might have <laughs> actually retired. Hi, yeah. Like. Uh, yeah. Can we have an ambulance yet? Yeah. We're on the 14th tee. I'm going to carry Lang. on. I'm going to carry on. You just literally broke all the fingers. Oh, that your hurt head. a lot. Pete gave a big spiel about how he was near a ditch and everything like that. He's actually in A1 position in the centre yeah. of the fairway. I hit the cut like he suggested and blocked out. Yeah, admittedly, you didn't hit it with the club face, though. Yeah, I did hit the golf ball with a well, club face, yeah. Yeah, you're all, right. All I've learned from this hole is that the Fujikora shaft flies about 220 when hit from the bottom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It works. It consistently works. Oh. I've got 155 into the wind up the hill. I think I'm going to have to hit a little nudgy cut six around the uh, yeah, just around this tree. Hold your line now. Oh, I heard tree. I heard tree. We've had a call to say it's on the edge of the trees and he can see it. Do you find that you're counting the shots down in this challenge, by the way? I, I am solely relying on you. Right, okay. I've lost the ability for most of my mental functions. I've, I've played when it plays on my mind more instead <sighs> of playing the course as you normally would. I'm like, right, I'll birdie that hole, I'll do that, and I yeah. try and make the score. What am I, 15? 15? Fif you're 15, I'm 16. So all of a sudden I start going, right, three here, three there will do, and four. Well, I'm 16 now, aren't I? Yeah. Right, got okay. you. See, I, I'm getting into it. I'm going to hit a seven. I am going to hit like a little cut. Just a feely one. Back into that pin. Hold it. Come on. Centre of the green. Oh, stay up, stay. stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Stay up. <sighs> I think the half ton of earth that you took with it might have been yeah. the issue. I wouldn't say that was fully fat, but that was ball and turf at pretty much exactly the same time. Yes. It was they the... call that chunky. Not fat enough to give me a little bit of hope. And yet that hope has been quashed. Not ideal. As you can see, I'm in the foliage. Pretty straightforward chip actually though, down the hill. I just need to know whether I can actually get a back swing on it. I think I have to get a little bit choppy, steepy. Right, hit and hope time. Oh my God, that's come out so good. That's a great shot from there. That is like wonder absolute wonder i've hit it to 10 foot that's how you get backspin folks hit it in a load of leads and chop down on it don't listen to all these use the bounce tips so i'm going to use the bounce on this one <laughs> <laughs> that was a lovely chip well executed oh car fry this would be a hell of a par some would say the greatest up and down in youtube history i'd, I'd say in golf history yeah. That's saying world history. Yeah. I think if you hold this a Nobel Prize, Nobel Peace Prize. Hit in up and downing. Turn. How's that not broke from there? That's a five, unfortunately. Pretty much said I was going to get that on that last tee. 
That's a good push. Oh no. That is not what you need in the 30 shot challenge. That no. is not what you need. It really isn't. In the 30 shot challenge. It was 16 and 15, it's 21 and 20. Blue. Nine and 10 to go with, I think four holes to play. It's gonna be challenging. It's gonna be challenging. What do we need, a two, a three? <laughs> need a load of twos. <laughs> right, driver out fryer. We've gotta go two, three, one, two. Right. Now that would be the finish. That would be some heck of a finish. Uh, it's 100% not driver here, but... Yeah, 320 yards, the 15th hole. Normally you hit it down to the, the trees and then sort of play up, but you can maybe get close-ish. Close. It's but just... it's got to thread the needle. You've got to be able to fill your hands as well. Yes, which is a privilege we have fallen <laughs> shy of today. Oh, that is sensationally good. That's actually all right. It's all right. Fair enough. That was perfect. Maybe his driver on it. Yeah, this is where you've been going wrong. You know all those open calls you play, but it's taken oh, back now. It's always been driver if you play. Oh, that uh -oh. might be in the spot of bother. The interesting thing is I've not heard it hit anything there. No. But I'm going to have to play a provisional. This is not how we wanted it to go. Come here, golf ball. So cold. This is my 25th shot now. Mate, I'd, we'll if find we, that first. If one. we don't we'll find the first one. Oh, that was that. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, we're good. That was a bit of a laboured swing. Yeah, that was cold and <laughs> steery. If, if you ever wanted to know what a 70 mile an hour driver swing looked like. Actually placed mine to perfection. There's my first ball. There's the other two. My 60 Why? mile per hour swing has got like just, remarkably close to yours. That. How's it got so close? <laughs> just no spin, flat flight. <laughs> <laughs> can, I have a, can I have a watch back of my swing on that tee? I thought I did it all right. I thought I'd swung quite fast. Mine's efficiency though, when you get it perfectly out of the middle, it goes further. Oh God. 23rd shot for 85 yards. I need to land this up onto the plateau of the green and let it get in close. Travel, travel! Uh, That's where I wanted right, to land yeah. it. A bit steep, I didn't like the lie then. Hey ho, we're up there. The wind switched, it's going to be down on the last three. Oh, lovely. Which you which might think is a good thing, but what that actually means is the snow that's already gone over us. It's, it's coming, coming back. back. <laughs> I've actually done you on the angle here. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that is the most confusing thing I've ever seen in my, my life. 60, 60 mile per hour nudger fairway finder is longer than Pete Finch's full out swing. I don't even think you did that well either. It was a centred strike, Pete. Efficiency. You should know this by now. Right, ball above my feet. I'm going to hit uh, like a skimmer in here. Well, not a skimmer, but a medium flighted wedge. <laughs> I would suggest not to do that in this weather. Shut up. We're doing it. We've got it. Well out. Spin. Yeah, not bad. It's not quite how I pictured it. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we're on the green, green and red. What is that? <laughs> it's the closest thing to a cricket shot I've seen all day. That, that, is, that, was, a, that was an off drive. <laughs> that was just awful. It came off at a right angle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, God, that was the worst spot I've ever hit. <laughs> go, go. Oh, what a line. What a chopper. Oh dear. Oh no. I said it, back to back fives. Damn. I cursed us. The good news is the next is a par three. No, it's not, it's a par five. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this happened to me the other day. I had a four foot on it. Oh, you can have that one. No, no, you're going to put it out. So that he was a six. That. that was literally coming into impact. Oh no, it's a bar. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> oh, so what, where even if you... No, oh, if I hold this, I go in front. <laughs> I was one behind. I'm going to count up. I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, that looks so good for so long. <laughs> that was a good foot, that. Right, so if we birdie this, does that technically mean we like cleared 16? Yeah, you finished 16, so. 
<laughs> you finish the hole and you've got yeah. a four. And that was the target, right? Yeah. So I think that's, that'll be good going if we bury this then. Yes. 16th hole, it's a par five, it's 507 yards. After Pete's completely sound mind, yes, we do need a birdie to complete the 16th <laughs> hole. That's a four on a par five for uh, anyone watching. Oh. <coughs> right, it's coming back a bit. It's in the rubbish left. No, it's actually all right. Is it okay? It's in the light rough. Ah, oh, right, okay. Ideal then. Oh man. I'm just expecting Santa to go over in a minute. He's still real, isn't he? I think Santa might crash in his weather. Oh, this is worse than Lapland. <laughs> Reindeers will turn around and go, no, I'm all right, thanks. Right, I'm just gonna hit me 60 mile per hour. <laughs> nah, a bit too much speed on that. Let's <laughs> come back a bit. It's all right, just off the fairway. It'll do. Add a little little skip to it as well. That's right, right out the middle again. Efficiency. Right, I'm gonna make eagle so I can beat Pete. Right, we've got 250 to the middle. To keep the dream alive, you need a three. I'm not well, you need two shots from here, and then you need to hold the... Uh, to, to finish, I need to hold this. You need hold to hold this, one, hold the next. And then hold the next. Yeah. Right. Downwind, though. Yeah, you know what, you're damn right. <sighs> That's on the next tee, isn't it? Though? Yeah. Fab! Who's, who's out here? My dad's in front. Who you... Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit hybrid as well because it's only 225 to the front from up here in front of you. Oh, that is so good. I'll tell you what, that's come out nice, isn't it? It's good. I skip it. it. Oh, the perfect bounce as well. That could be. That looked really good, that. Was that like a low spin, slightly toey one, or was that. No, that was buttoned. Tell you what, he's never said good shot, has he? That looked low spin, that one. Was that slightly toed? Oh, not like, oh my God. That, where's Kieran when you need him? That was the best shot I've ever seen. I don't know when these videos are going to be released, but you you watch the video of me and Fryer on my channel and the best golfer on YouTube series. You, you go and look at the ball striking in that. Listen, the game isn't about ball striking. We're not on a range. It's about golfing your ball. And we all know I have mastered it here today at West Lanks. You've not showered yourself in any form of glory here, Peter. One good thing though, our shoes are now clean walking through the woof. The woof. The woof. The woof. The, woof. the wet woof. How far is it? Give me a number. 39 to the middle. Okay. That is, uh, I think, going to be short. Well, this is my last shot, but it'd be good to clear the hole. Come on then, let's finish with a bang. That's off the back. That's now off the back. Well, I can confirm that's that. me done. Right, Pete bows out, doesn't finish the 16th. I'm going to eagle this and tee off on 17. Go. Go, never leave an eagle point short. It's right in the jaws as well, that. I need to hold this because I need to beat you because if it doesn't go in, it's like, well, yeah, you know, I was tapping in. Right in the jaws? It was dead in line. It just needed hitting. Big bloody jaws. <laughs> it just hit the worst bobble and went right on me. Well, good draw. Absolute pleasure. Well done. Thanks, oh, for, oh, staying. Oh, <laughs> Thanks oh. for staying out. Oh wow, there's literally no feeling there, is there? Wow. No. Guys, that was the 30 shot challenge, West Lanks with Peter Finch. Comment down below who's playing next. See you in the next one. If we're alive. Let's go to the log fires. There's, there's, a, there's a very big chance that this is the last you'll see of us.